performers are ready, and so are the cameras. So sit back, relax, and get set for half an hour of prime entertainment with hostess Auntie Hazel on the 1984 series of 12 and Under. It's two down. I want to tell you this. It's two down and one to go. This is the final of the semi-finals. A very warm welcome to you all. And at some time after sign-off, today's contestants will be given their results. And uh, you'll be able then to join us for rehearsals tomorrow morning. Campbell Academy of Dancing, 71C, Picton Street at 11 o'clock. Rehearsals tomorrow for the Grand All-Star Show, which will be telecast live next Friday from Studio B under the very capable direction of Mr. Andrew Peters. The grand first prize, a trip to the magical kingdom of Walt Disney in Orlando, Florida. We welcome back my friend, advisor, and accompanist, Mr. Morris Connor. <laughs> Sorry to give you, Mr. Connor, the bandaged hand. Doctor, you see I'm all right. Okay, we are going to meet now our panel of judges, professionals in the field of music, dance, and drama. There they are. We welcome Mrs. Margie Williams-Smith, who studied piano singing at the Royal Academy of Music in London. Miss William Smith, music teacher at Holy Name Convent in Port of Spain, performs as soloist, accompanist, and a chamber music player, Margie Williams Smith. Exchanging a few ideas there with Valerie Clark, who studied organ, piano, and voice at the Guildhall School of Music in London, teaches at Holy Faith Convent in Coover, has worked with choirs as an accompanist and as a church organist. Miss Clark is also a trained broadcaster. <laughs> Mrs. June Williams Thorne, graduate of the Guildhall School of Music, licentiate of the Guildhall School of Music, associate of the Royal School of Music, co-founder of the Marinettes, was choir mistress at Holy Name Convent for 12 years, chorus mistress of the opera for the past two years, the Merry Widow, no less. Wilbert Holder, man of all seasons, broadcaster, actor, producer, director. He's the host of the popular morning show Dateline. His most recent role was Mojeni in Wassa Albert. <laughs> Carol Yipchoy Norton studied at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet and taught at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet School. She returned to Trinidad from Canada in August of 83 and is now teaching at the Caribbean School of Dancing. She's also currently performing in the opera, The Merry Widow. And we are having Mr. Wilbert Holder and Carol Yipchoy Norton share our commentary. So listen well. Now the comments from the last, contest last week's contestants. Number one, Nicole Antoine, who sang Maria. Beautifully clear diction, hands were a little wayward. Despite some fine passages at the end, Nicole's breath control needs work, especially in the middle range of the voice. Contestant number two, Jeff Lisiang, who played Italian waltz on the guitar. A budding guitarist, finger work very good. The stopping of notes needs a little attention. Jeff should watch his give and take and with the time, although his sense of rhythm is very good. Number three, Alexander Webster, who played the third movement, Sonatina by Clementi. Good gradation, both tone and dynamics. A poised performer. Watch the trill. There were a few slips towards the end, but generally a confident performance. Number four, Rene Castle and Jeanette Sinisui, who did the Dolls Game dance. Charming presentation, it bubbled. Now work to achieve a better sense of line and more precise footwork. Number five, Alison Phillip, who sang Ben. What a performance, wonderful use of emotion, beautifully phrased, but the hunching of the shoulders will at times affect the lovely tone she produces. Number six, Malika Bab, who played the minuet in G. 
Although some liberties were taken with Bath's notes and style, this was a well-graded, secure performance. And I take over from uh, lucky number seven, Tracy Ann Gordon from Tobago, who sang the Calypso Common Entrance. Good topic, humorous and well-delivered. Good sense of rhythm, but extremely shaky pitch. Should watch that. Number, where are my notes here? Number eight, Ashu Serju, the recorder. She played Minuet L'Antique. A glance and a smile would help allay her nerves and give her that all-important contact with the audience. It's a matter of presentation as you come on, glance, smile, bow, and you relax a little more. Perhaps it might be better if the piece chosen for Asha had been written for her instrument. Number nine, Sh Susan Schneider with the song Tomorrow. Nicely characterized, greater variety of facial expression, and a little more oomph would have brought this performance to its peak. Very nice use of mime. Remember how she started off by polishing the window and cleaning it? You could actually see the glass there. Number 10, Cavill McAllister, piano, the piece ballad. Confident approach to the instrument, although the piece was quite unsuited to Cavell's technique in the left hand. There was good use of dynamics, however. And number 11, Roxanne Tony, song Somebody's Bigger Than You and I. A pleasant young voice, lovely sense of rhythm of pitch. Maybe Roxanne should develop her own style when singing and not try to copy other styles of older performers. This prevents her from developing her own style. She had the unfortunate way of waving her hands around too much the same way all the time and casting her eyes to the ceiling, you know. Anyhow, for the winners and to announce them, it's back to you, Carol. Um, for first prize, we have oh, <laughs> Alison Phillip, who sang there. Yeah. So, Monica, Alice, Thank you. <laughs> Tied for second place is Jeff Lee Young and Alex Sanford West. Nice job, our guitarist. Come on in there. He's waiting on his kiss. And actually, Curtis Richardson, who is our first contestant on today's show, will be receiving the prize for Alexander Webster. Thanks for your letter, Alexander. <laughs> Third prize went to Susan Schneider. <laughs> and special prize to Tracy Ann Gordon. Tracy Ann Gordon of Tobago. My regards to all the folks in Tobago. And uh, thank you very much, Carol and uh, uh, Wilbert Holder. And Onika, I do have something very special for you, darling. And this will be presented by Nicola. <coughs> Nicola Alonso, who has been helping me off camera. Thank you, Nicola. What a wonderful word, Onika. What school do you attend? Nelson Street Girls Arts. And this is your first time on television with me. Okay, perhaps next year you'll be a performer at the 12th and under. Now, may I have a kiss? And I'm going to kiss you back. Come along, darling. Thank you very much. 16 contestants today. The final of the semi-finals. Contestant number one, Curtis Richardson of the Baratarius Celeste Music School. And his piece, Sonatine Angie, by our old friend, Clementi.
Joseph School, which has been in existence for over 30 years. The children are taught vocal sight reading, piano, recorder, quattro, cello, violin, the steel pan, the double bass, and of course the theory of music. And teachers are all members of one family, uh, Sylvia Robin, Melville Robin, and others and others. Contestant number two, Nazinga Haynes. Are you much better now, Nazinga? Yeah. And you look very pretty today. Your song? Dear Hearts and Gentle People, a special dedication to Dr. Kathleen Spicer. Do you know why? How can I so we can hear you? my judges each judge has been on that performing stage so they understand okay contestant number three from Tobago Richard Parisien <laughs> welcome special welcome to you uh, Richard your school please Scarborough. and you're accompanied by mr. John Arnold who has been conducting auditions and rehearsals on my behalf in the sister Isle of Tobago your song I believe I believe all right there I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. Above the storm, the soft 
this world can still be heard. I believe that someone in the grid somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry, oh, touch a leaf, oh, see the sky. Thank you very much. Richard Parisienne of Tobago, accompanied by Mr. John Arnold. Okay, just before the next contestants, our brick dancers, I have a young guest here from St. Charles High School in Tunapuna. Will you come in, darling? Sister rang me about you. And you know, I get so much support from the schools, and when it's my turn, I'm happy to have you all. Now, you've got a message, and you're Valerie Calderon. Yes, Valerie, relax and tell us. St. Charles High School began as a girls' school in the early 50s until about 1975 when it became co-educational. The school is located at number 5 Back Street, Tunapuna and accommodates approximately 400 students. Each year, we have a Christmas fair. This year, our Christmas fair will be held at St. Charles, number 5, Go ahead, darling. Come on, tell us about it. Yes, it will be held where? Each year, we have a Christmas fair. This year, it will be held at St. Charles, number 5, Back Street, Tunapuna, on Sunday, the 2nd of December, 1984. Admission, adults, $2, children, $1. Not so cheap. Yes. <laughs> After this, will be, will be followed by our disco... Oh, Dancing, yes, darling, yes. Following this will be our disco party. Starting... At Following this will be our disco party. And everyone is going to have a wonderful yes. time. Give me the date again. Give me December the date again. December the 2nd. December the 2nd. And the venue? The place? St. Charles High School. St. Charles Five High School. Two. Okay, sweetie. Run along now. Thank you. And we are live in Studio B. And we are holding. Studio B, the final of the semi-finals. It is a family affair. The break dances to Cleveland and Clayton McDonald. Choreography by Curtis McDonald. Let the music play, brothers. <laughs> Because uh, you can't let the streets beat you. Uh, a newspaper, a 
That's what uh, fatherly support say is all about. As we welcome contestant number five from Blackman's private school, Jerome Duquette. Will you come in, please? I say you're a well-dressed young man. Jerome, your song, please. Uh, the Holy City. The Holy City, accompanied by Mr. Kenneth Blackman. Okay. Last night I lay asleeping, they came a dream so bare. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven and
grandmother, my old friend, Mrs. Joyce Madison. Okay, a dedication to you. Thank you, Jerome Cuquettes, accompanied by Mr. Kenneth Blackman. Contestant number six is Sasha Carmini Palmasad, <laughs> with a poem composed by her father, and my congratulations to Mr. Palmasad, a published author, his most recent publication, Salt and Roti, a collection of Indian folk tales. Congratulations to you, sir. Okay, darling, let's have the name of the poem and do your thing. Come with me by Kenneth Parmesan. Come with me, come, please take my hand for a journey across my land. So many things I would like to know. So many things I would like to show. Come with me, come, please take my hand. I see sparkling waters of the blue, blue Caribbean Sea. Wish, wash, wish, washing the shores of a eerie. And like the feathers of the coconut tree, I see the red, white, and black flying free. Where the Union Jack used to be, and as I cast my eye across the land, I see the tree peaks of La Trinity, and plenty, plenty mackerel flambo in the sea, blooding up the Moyaro sky, where Sukiya used to fly. Come with me, come please take my hand, for a journey across my land. And as I walk the city streets, I see the latest in the New York style. Shirt jumps, jackets and ties, jostling on the pavement with each other, rubbing shoulder to shoulder with the madman and the beggar, and cover fighting in the labas with little children who should be in class. Come with me, come please take my hand for a journey across my land. I see traffic jamming up the highway, D-ray, D-ray, one for tomorrow, one for today. I see Mercedes in mud holes and dogs behind gates with locks and chains. I see shanties and shaky shacks swallowing up the hillsides and the plains. I see axes and sledgehammers and guns that kill, doing their duty still. In this my land of Avi, this land of the free, this land of hope and glory. So many things I can understand on this journey across my land. And when I turn and I ask him why, the answer is this, bring water to my eye. Come with me, come please take my hand. Doop, 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 doop. Where's that sound, where's that sound? Ping pong. Sans humanity. I hear the rhythm of the drums across the land. Kalinda, Nagara, Dingole, Steel Pan. I hear the tassa rolling, rolling in the streets. I hear bells on dancing feet. Ta te te ta ta te te ta. Dig a dig dig dig, grand ha. Dig a dig dig dig, grand ha. Grand ha, grand ha. Come with me, come please take my hand. For a journey across my land. Free at last, free at last. 150 years done past. But I still hear in Kambule, Kambule, who say, who say. Dance the moon, man, dance the moon, I tell ya. Will I carry the moon on the back in this land? And I still hear Nani and Nana telling the little children that the longest rope have an end. The more open my eyes and see, the more open my ears and hear. I wonder what it is going to be for children to grow up in my country. So many things I can't understand on this journey across my land. And when I turn and I ask him why, the answer is this bring water to my eye. Come with me, come please take my hand for a journey across my land. Come with me, come please take my hand for a journey across my land. Then colourful style, Mr. Palmasad. Very enjoyable. And uh, just before the commercial break, 
I would like to introduce you to Mr. Wendell Constantine, a past performer and 12 and under team talent. You know with Father Allen, aren't you? At the Catholic mm. Communications yes. Studios, yes. I'm his recording engineer there. And you're also involved in a forthcoming production, Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo Inn. Holiday Inn. Oh, that's right, it's on Holiday Inn. If you're not doing anything this Sunday, you can come on down to the Holiday Inn Ballroom at 6.45 p.m. when we have a fabulous concert in store for you featuring the group moods of the Holiday Inn, Daniel Newflowers, the Goretti Group, uh, Three Tons of Fun, Sandra Hamilton, and talent from 12 and under as well. So it promises to be an exciting concert and all proceeds are going to the seminary under the distinguished patronage of His Grace Archbishop Anthony Panton. Tickets are priced, as you can see, at $20. And if you're in town tomorrow, you can check at Pizza Hut of West Mall or Rhino's Record Shop of Prince Street and on Sunday at the Holiday Inn in the lobby. Hope to see you there. Oh, you're a smooth one, baby. You're a smooth, you know. I almost did, it. did not make it to the studio today. And I said, you know, Wendell Constantine can take over from me at any point in time. I'll Thank try. you, Wendell. Thanks, Thank you, darling. Thank you. We are live. For the second prize winner, a $450 gift voucher, and the third prize, a gift voucher valued at $325. There's a special prize included in each semi-final presentation, and the gift voucher here is $150. The Grand All-Star Prizes, and the first prize, a trip for two to Disney World in Orlando, Florida by BWIA. Hotel accommodation with meals and spending money from Y. De Lima. The winner's school receives a prize to the value of $7,500, not cash, but to be selected in consultation with the school's principal, courtesy the Bank of Nova Scotia. And for the winner, a Scotia savings account of $200 per month for one year, with bonus payment at the end of the year, should additional monthly deposits be made over that period. The second prize from Wada Lima, a gift voucher valued at $1,200. And from the Bank of Nova Scotia, a Scotia savings account of $110 per month for one year with bonus payment. Also for the second prize winner, an all expense paid holiday for two at the luxurious Crown Reef Hotel in Tobago. The third prize, a gift voucher of $900 coupled with a Scotia savings account of $65 per month for one year with bonus payment. All other contestants in the Grand All-Star Show will receive gift vouchers from Wadalima valued at $700.